What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. I'm actually running out the door. I should have left about two minutes ago and as I was running out to my car, I was like, oh, I forgot to film an intro. So I turned around and came back in and that's what I'm doing. So that's why I'm kind of like, oh, hot and sweaty right now because I've been upstairs rushing to get out of my house. So anyways, that's it. I love you guys and if you want to see how I got this look and just kind of chit chat and hang out and talk about random stuff, then just keep watching. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another sophisticated tutorial with Jacqueline. Okay, really though, I do not have time to screw around because I actually do have an event to go to and I have to leave pretty damn soon. So let's get it popping. Prime the base so that you can beat that face. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my foundation first. You guys, honestly, like recently, I have gotten so stuck in my current foundation routine because I am so happy with it that I don't even try other things anymore. Like I'm just, I'm in it. Apparently I'm doing a very full coverage today, just so you know. It's kind of like when they say like, if something is, Wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> Wait, if it's not broken, don't fix it. That's where I'm at in life with my foundation. Wait, where is my foundation? I don't remember the last time that I was this happy with the way my foundation looked as the end result and it looks good all day long. So it's like, I don't want to try anything else. I know that I should, but it's like, I'm just so happy with it. And it's like, even after 10, 11, 12, 14 hours, my foundation still looks good. So I actually fell asleep the other night with my foundation on for the first time. I'm not kidding, probably since I was like 17 years old. Okay, let me keep moving as I'm talking, hold on. Which by the way, in case you guys haven't seen my like most recent videos, I am using the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation combined with the Dior Forever Foundation. I know, it's like an expensive foundation routine, but you know what, you can't put a price on perfection. And I'm gonna grab a damp beauty sponge and I'm gonna spray it with a Lumi... I'm spraying it with a Lumi... I'm just using the, I'm spraying it with a luminous dew. No, I'm, <laughs> I've always used the top. Ah! I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I can't talk, not today. So anyways, I fell asleep with my foundation on the other night, like an idiot, but I did, I did it, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't matter like what my current situation is. I could be like deathly ill with the flu. You know, I could be like wasted. It doesn't matter what state of mind that I'm in. I will still get my ass to the bathroom, wash my face and brush my teeth. But I was so exhausted last week, I couldn't do it. Like I had been running like three hours of sleep every night for several nights and I was like, I can't, I'm done. So I just brushed my teeth and fell asleep with my full face of makeup on. When I woke up the next morning, my foundation still looked perfect. I'm not kidding, like I slept like face down in the pillow, like like drooling and when I woke up, my face still looked perfect. Now my eye makeup was a disaster, like everything else was a disaster, but my actual foundation was bomb. So I don't know, this foundation routine that I'm doing right now, I'm just in love with it. And the thing that makes me love it the most, I think, is the, um, the, using a luminous, dewy, glowy face mist to spray my damp beauty sponge is really the key to all this, I think. Now, of course, the foundations play a very big part. The powders play a very big part. Of course, it all plays a big part in the end result, but there's something about constantly, like every single time I go back in with my sponge, I like stop, I spray it. I totally missed it, I just sprayed my arm. <laughs> but every single time I go back in, I wet the sponge all over again, and there's something about it, how it just like melts it into the skin and makes the foundation look so full coverage, but yet so much more natural. It's like it becomes one with your pores. Maybe I'll just call this video another drunk makeup tutorial, even though I'm completely sober. It would make sense. But like I've always said, even if you are oily, you can use dewy products as long as you are combining them with other mattifying products. If you're priming your face with a mattifying like pore filling primer, and then if you're using like a matte foundation with a glowy face mist and then a mattifying powder, it's like you're just kind of layering all those things to get that three dimensional, really beautiful, natural looking glow, you know? And it won't make you look oily, it'll just make you look more natural. I am so excited right now, you guys, because I'm so close to hitting 5 million subscribers here on YouTube. And this to me is like just as surreal and weird as hitting 1 million subscribers. Like when I first started YouTube, I remember thinking like, oh my God, if I were to ever hit 1 million subscribers, like I don't even know what I would do. Like I would just ball my eyes out for weeks. And then I hit 1 million subscribers and that's exactly what I did. Like it was just so surreal. Like I just couldn't believe it. I just like screamed and cried and just like freaked out. And then I remember when I hit 1 million, hold on, I have like a, a hair stuck on my face. I can, I can feel it. I remember when I hit 1 million subscribers on YouTube, some people were like, oh, before you know it, you'll be at 5 million. And I was like, ha! Yeah, right, you know, it's like, there's such a big difference between one and five, and I just never thought that I would get here. And so the fact that this is happening, I almost feel like I'm having like that weird, like, 
butterfly like ha ah, towards YouTube right now. Like it's just so crazy and I'm just I just can't believe that this is where my life has brought me to 5 million subscribers here on YouTube and just all of your love and support and it's just you guys have absolutely no idea how thankful I am for you and your constant love and support and watching my videos and giving me feedback and constructive criticism and like even the haters. I am so thankful for all of it and like I can actually say that now, you know, like a couple years ago, maybe even a year ago or so, I could have never have said that ever. But like, I'm so thankful for everybody. And like, being on YouTube has forced me to grow up and get to know myself. It's taught me so many lessons. It's forced myself to look in the mirror and take responsibility for certain things that I never would have, you know, if I wasn't doing this, if I didn't choose this path in life. And I'm just so thankful for it, you know? Like, even the mean comments, like the hater comments, like, they used to get to me so bad, people being so nasty and mean to me, but because of that, I ended up going to therapy, I ended up meeting the most incredible therapist in the entire world, and I ended up figuring out why those comments bothered me so much, I ended up working through it, and it ended up making me a better person who actually knows myself more. So it's like, I'm thankful for everything. I'm thankful for the mean people, I'm th thankful for the loving people. I just love you so much, and even when I, don't deserve your love and don't deserve your support you guys are always just reminding me like you're just reminding me i just love you i love you so much like i'm literally sweating every single time i talk about it i'm like ah like i start to get like boob sweat and like my ass crack starts getting wet i'm like oh god five million all i'm saying is that i am so eternally grateful and thankful and i do not feel and i have never felt and i don't think i ever will feel like i am deserving of any of this and even when i feel like crap about myself or I'm having the worst day or the worst week or the worst month or the worst year you guys are always here for me and I just I love you and for that it's like yeah thanks thank you thank you just thank you guys I love you okay so now I'm gonna set my under eyes recently I've been setting my under eye area with powder like immediately when I'm done with my concealer instead of going in with my face powder first you hear my voice my voice is so <clears throat> raspy it's raining really hard today and I don't know why but every single time it rains in Florida not during the summer usually, but like this time of year when it rains in Florida, I get like this like really nasty, like bleh, like it's just whatever. Anyways, back to what I was saying. The reason I set my under eye area first before my face is I feel like I have less creasing with my concealer when I set my eye area immediately. And I just do a really, really small amount and then I will go back um, after I set everything and like I've done my bronzer, my blush and all that and sometimes I'll add a little bit more which is a tiny bit that way you don't get like really cakey and crepey under there because too much powder in the under eye does not look good on nobody. And now I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my favorite setting powders which this is the same routine that I've showed you guys in the last couple of videos so I don't feel the need to really go too in depth about what exactly I'm doing and what exactly I'm using. Can you guys tell the difference in my camera quality? Because I am like a little shook by it because this is the same camera that I have been using for a very long time, it's been like two years, I believe. And um, my new video editor, who he hasn't actually started yet, but he's actually moving to Florida and going to be starting um, in the early summer. And he came down and filmed my closet tour for me. And when he was here, he adjusted some settings on my camera. And now I feel like I'm just like, so high def and like it just looks so legit I don't even know what he did but he's just he's magical but I hope that you guys can notice the difference in the camera quality and also the sound the sound is major improved okay I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows really quick and I'll be right back I'm not gonna record this because it's a bore fest no one wants to watch someone fill in their brows oh <gasps> I can't help it. Every single time I put on brows with just my foundation, I'm always like so scared of myself. I'm like, ah! it's just not my good look. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. I mean, obviously these are very bold. I could have done like a more soft brow, but I'm just feeling bitchy today. Okay. I just had to clean off that foundation off my lips because I just hate how crusty it looks. Um, I wanted to do a wing liner today, but I don't think I have time because I have to leave here soon. I really want to use this Kylie palette from her Weather Collection, I think it's called, because I want to use this shade right here on my lid. It just looks so beautiful. Um, but the other colors in the palette, I don't want to use with it, you know? Like, I want a little bit more of a... I don't want, like, a purple or a green tone around it. <laughs> Man, I need to shave my face. This bitch is getting hairy. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do, like, a basic look. Like, very vanilla, just simple basic biatch type of look today i don't know do i want to do that 
I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. You know what? I'm just going to be honest. I'm just kind of going with it. I'm just doing the motions. I'm thinking something in the warm-ish category, but not true. I don't know. You never know where it's going to end up. Let's just go with it and see what happens. That's just kind of my motto in life recently. Like, let's just go with it and see where the hell we end up. I'm, I'm done trying to plan everything out. It feels so weird right now to be getting ready with no music on, even though like I'm obviously filming, so I can't get ready with music on. But it feels so weird because recently I have been blasting music the entire time I get ready. And I've never been like a music listener when I get ready. Like I love music and I have music playing in my house basically all day, every day. But whenever I do my makeup for some reason, I don't like to have music on. I don't know why. It's like a weird thing, I know. But my whole life, I've always liked to have on like a movie. Like I have my iPad next to me, like a movie playing and it like really calms me and relaxes me. But the past couple of weeks, I've really gotten into just like blasting music on my speakers whenever I do my makeup. And now it's like, I don't know. I'm obsessed. Like I look so forward to sitting down and just like listening to my playlist. And I have been obsessed with Demi Lovato's um, album recently. Oh my God. Like every single song, I'm in it. Every song. Why do I feel like my eyes are gonna get a little bit smokier than I planned? Recently, I have been super into the lower lash line. Like you guys know that I always put shadow on my lower lash line. Like I think I have one tutorial of all time where I don't have anything on my lower lash line. I'm pretty sure it's a Valentine's Day tutorial. Other than that, I have to put something down here every single day of my life. But recently I have been like obsessed with blowing out this lower lash so much. Like almost to the point that like my lower lash line eyeshadow like blends into my blush. Like so far down. I know it sounds weird, but there's something about it that just makes your eyes pop and stand out more. So my lower lash line to me has honestly been more important than my upper lash line. Like I take a little bit of shadow and I literally like drag this down. Like I'm, I don't know, I'm into it. I'm into it. You kind of look like a freak at first, but once the look is done and it all comes together, I'm in it. I am so excited, you guys. It's only a few days away from The Greatest Showman coming out um, to like, be able to be purchased on like Amazon, which is where I like watch all of my movies. Like Some people do like Hulu or Vudu, I don't know, or like all that different stuff, I don't know. I only have Netflix and then like my Amazon app, like my Amazon Instant, whatever it's called, where you just like buy and rent movies. Anyways, I am so excited for The Greatest Showman to come out on DVD. Like, I've never seen any movie in theaters as many times as I saw The Greatest Showman. I saw it six times in theaters, which is insane. I don't even know how I found the time to do it, honestly. I don't even know. There was one day that I went and saw like 11 a.m. showing. I bawled my eyes out every single time, all six times. Hair, get it together. But like in a good cry, like a cry that like motivates me and inspires me and makes me feel like just some type of way, you know? Like, oh, it's just so good. I'm gonna grab some of the Patrick Star powder that he collaborated with MAC on, and I'm going to just tap a little bit of that right underneath my eye, just so that we don't look a little too crazy once this is all over with, and just clean up a little bit of that shadow. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this color right here from the Kylie, I don't even know what this palette is technically called. There is no name on it whatsoever, it just says Kylie Jenner Pressed Powder Palette. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I don't know if I even want to use a brush because it really looks like it's going to be a pain in my royal ass. I'm nervous. This definitely looks like it's going to be... Oh, yeah. No. No, 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 no. I'm going to use my finger. Let me see here. Hmm. That's not really my vibe right now. That's not what I was expecting. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just um, not do that. I'm going to grab a couple colors from my palette and put it down as a base and then just layer like a little bit of that over top as like a little like beep, boop, boop. That's actually like so pretty, just like mixed together like that. I'm in it. You like lightly bring that over all the way to the outer corner. Cause I kind of want this color to be like lightly all over the lid, just like slightly satiny and blown out. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yes. Okay. So then let me do the exact same thing that I did on this side. That way it looks the same. Perfect. And in case you're wondering what shades I'm using for my palette, they are Obsessed and SBN. And people always ask me still what SBN means. And it stands for Smoky But Natural. And I named it that because when I used to be a freelance makeup artist and I would do like weddings and prom makeup all the time and that's what I did, 
every single client that would sit down in my chair would always say like, I want something smoky, like I want it to be like really smoky and like Kim Kardashian-esque, but natural. Like I still want to look natural, but I want it to be smoky. And I'm like, okay, so smoky but natural. And they make exactly smoky but natural. And it doesn't even like really make sense. Like how can it be smoky and natural at the same time? But it makes total sense in my mind. And I always knew exactly what they were referring to. And they're referring to a color just like this eyeshadow that I created. They want like that all over kind of like taupey, slightly bronzy, shimmery shade, which is like a light, like really beautiful brown buffed out in the crease, like a smoky liner. Like I understood what they meant. So that's why I named it SBN for that look, Smoky But Natural. I have that. Now I'm going to go back in with that shade from the Kylie palette. And I'm going to just like lightly do a little. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. There we go. It's exactly what I wanted. Ooh, it just gives that little like rare okay now i'm going to go in with a really dark brown on my lower lash line i'm going to put it right tight right and tight up against my lash line and i'm doing that pretty sloppy just throwing it on there i'm going to go back in with the shade roxanne and buff that out I'm just buffing the edges of that out because I do not want to see any harsh lines. I do not want to see where this shadow on my lower lash line begins or ends. I just want it to be eternal, like my love. I'm going to put some white liner on my inner waterline because I don't want to do black today. I don't know why. I just kind of want to keep this like more popping than a black smoky eye. All right, I'm gonna put some mascara on so I can throw on some lashes. I'll do your dirty dishes. Okay, I'm back. I'm back! Ow! I'm gonna go in with a little shade stir by MAC Cosmetics. I'm gonna do a little contour slash bronze action. We'll see where we end up. I don't really know. I'm just going with it today. I'm using the Morphe Y1 brush to do this just to kind of get it done quickly. I don't want to do anything too precise right now because I actually do have to get going pretty soon and I still need to go upstairs and shave my legs because I'm wearing shorts. So it's like trying to save time and just kind of rush through this, which is why I skipped out on the eyeliner and then I'll just straighten my hair instead of curling it because curling my hair takes way too much time even though i've timed it and i think it's like at this point it's around like 13 to 15 minutes it takes to curl my hair still like i can straighten my hair in like six minutes so whenever i'm rushing i'm like let's just do this instead i have to sculpt this out a little bit it just looks messy and i'm not about it right now i'm going to warm up my nose a little bit using the makeup forever bronzer in the shade 10m which is much lighter than the contour shade that I used on my face, but I don't want it to be too intense on my nose, so I go with a lighter shade instead. And I just picked up a random brush. This is one of the Kylie brushes, and I don't, I don't know. I'm just using something random, something to get on a little warmth on the face. Okay, I'm gonna just put this powder on the side of my nose so that this looks a little bit more sculpted when I wipe it away. And this Patrick Star powder is really, really like, natural looking and beautiful so you really can't overdo it it doesn't like erase as much as a typical translucent powder which i'm sure he did on purpose okay so now that i got that going on i'm going to grab a little bit of the mac pro emphasize um highlighting powder it's not highlighting powder it's a shaping powder it looks like this it has a little bit of a sheen in it i use it in almost every single video it's like one of my rider dies and then i'm also going to go back in with the kat von d shade and light palette and grab this first shade right here which i basically have none left of so i have to like get just the tip in there <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, that was too much. I'm gonna mix those two together and I'm gonna put this on my under eye area and the center of my face. And the reason why is because I feel like right now everything just looks like very flat in one dimension. Like the bronzer and the eyeshadow, everything have kind of just like come together as one and I don't want that. I want you to be able to see the dimension of the skin with the bronzer and the highlight and the eyes and all that. So that's why I do this step. And I didn't put my mascara on my bottom lashes yet on purpose because I'm knowing that I'm going to be doing this step. I would just go and cover up the mascara because I am touching my bottom lashes right now. So I wait to do my mascara last. Let's just wipe this away over here. Now for blush, I'm gonna go in with a generous amount because I really have been into like 
very powerful looking like pinky copper cheeks recently. I don't know, I'm having like a love affair with blush right now. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 9B palette. This has been my go-to. It's the only thing I took with me to LA and I've just been loving it. So I'm gonna go in with those shades. And like I said, put on a generous amount. I'm gonna kind of blend it in to that contour area. Bring it in on the inner apples of the cheeks. Just blend this all together. Okay, so now that my cheeks are covered in pinky coral, I'm gonna go back in with that beauty sponge and just dab it over top. Just to kind of mesh everything together. I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Highlighter and I'm gonna take that same brush and just put it over the apples as a nice glow. I'm just gonna like slightly kind of sweep that almost everywhere because it is such a natural glow from within. Get it up there a little bit in the forehead. For highlight, I wanna try this Kylie one because I love Kylie's highlighters. I'm gonna use this one right here. Let's see, I'm gonna actually mix it with a pinch of this, but mainly this one. Oh yeah, it's so like natural and just like creamy and wet looking. That's so beautiful. Oh, I love that. Wow. Let me hit my inner corners with a little light, just for a little pop. I feel like my eyes just kind of look dead without this step. So for lips, I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fair Game. This is one of my favorite, favorite nude liquid lips as of recently. Okay, so last but not least, I'm gonna set my face with some Morphe Prep and Set. Is there any left in here? Hold on. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Praise Jesus, praise Jesus! <gasps> and then just because I'm that extra and I wanna glow even more tonight, I'm going to go in with the Lila B, a glow face mist as well, right over top of that. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so that is it for this chit chat to get ready with me. I am off, I have to leave my house in 30 minutes. I still have to go shake my legs, straighten my hair, get dressed, let my dogs out. Honey, wish me luck. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you leave requests in the comment section down below for what you would like to see next. Yeah, just let me know. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.